Prince Harry and his American girlfriend, Meghan Markle, have confirmed months of speculation and announced that they will marry next year. Harry is fifth in line to the British throne. Meghan Markle is an actress best known for her role in the U.S. drama Suits. The couple only met last July, but Harry has reportedly said it was love at first sight. Finally, after weeks of speculation, the secret is out. The prince and his fiancée posing for the media in what will be their garden. Congratulations from all of us. How are you both feeling? Um, yeah, <laughs> the couple began their relationship in 2016, but kept it under wraps for months. Markle is a 36-year-old American actress best known for her role in the TV drama Suits. The royal family has given its blessing to the two and embraced Markle, a mixed-race divorcee who attended a Catholic school. For many, it's proof of how much the monarchy has modernised over the years. In the 1950s, Queen Elizabeth's sister Margaret had to give up her true love because he was a divorcee. She married someone else. Two decades earlier, King Edward VIII abdicated his throne for a twice-divorced American. Royal watchers say the household's attitude towards marriage has changed tremendously. Harry is marrying an Afro-American. He's, he's marrying a divorced woman. Um, I think people look at him and uh, remember perhaps Princess Margaret and, and Peter Townend and the sad, her sad life. Unlike royals before them, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have found a less rocky road to happiness. The pair are expected to tie the knot sometime next spring. Wow, imagine being the wedding planner for that one. All right, I'm joined here by Rosalie Delaney. She is a writer based here in Berlin and an expert on all things royals. Good to have you back on the show. Thank you for having me. So this engagement announcement, a surprise? Um, if anything, a pleasant surprise. I think it was certainly time. Um, Harry has expressed his wishes to settle down. And I think now it's, you know, come to a relief to many that he's found a, a lovely woman and they appear to be very much in love. And, and why now? Um, well, I think maybe there's a little bit, well, you know, time to start a family. Um, Megan is 36, so perhaps they're wanting to kind of, you know, get get a move on you, on that side of things. Do you think things. we're going to see some little baby royals from this pair soon? Is... Well, there's certainly one on the way with the other royal pair, but I think these two, yep, will be chasing on the, on the tail with a baby of their own soon. Now, when we consider um, Meghan Markle, I mean, she, she is a new sort of royal. Um, I mean, she's famous in her own right, first of all. She... She's an actress, she's American, she's divorced, um, she's mixed race, she's raised Catholic. That's a lot for the House of Windsor to digest, isn't it? Yes, I think there's certainly going to be some adjustments of attitude, but um, I mean, those adjustments um, are certainly overdue and yeah, Prince Philip might be having a little bit of a hard time coming to terms with um, a lot of change to the think, kind of royal so? profile, but... Do you think so? You think Prince Philip and Queen Elizabeth, do you think that when they are sitting there all alone and having a cup of tea that they think, my goodness, this is not the world that we married in? Yes, well, I think there might be a few feathers ruffled behind closed doors, but I think they would certainly be very happy to see Harry so very in love. Prince Harry... Himself, you know, he's been described as kind of the, the rowdy royal, the bad boy of the House of Windsor. This announcement, does this mean that he's, has he grown up? Are those days behind him? Yeah, I think so. I mean, he certainly was the rogue of the royal family and there were a few faux pas that he made in his youth. Um, but I think this is, you know, kind of a positive step forward that he's, you know, leaving those perhaps rather you know, rowdy, embarrassing um, shenanigans, shenanigans. Behind, behind him. And, um, yeah, it seems to have found a great match. 
Um, we know that the wedding has been announced for the spring of 2018. That is also the due date, the time, for the third child of yes. Kate and Prince William. So is someone going to be miffed there? Is someone going to be upstaged? Yeah. I'm trying to you know, say that delicately. I mean, do you think Kate's going to be upset if the wedding takes well, place then? I think um, as those two dates approach, there will be some um, astute royal planning coming in to coordinate, okay. certainly um, not a double drop on the, on the same day. All right, well, we'll, we'll see what happens. Rosalie Delaney, as always, thank you very much. We appreciate your royal insights. Thank, thank you, you for having me. And across social media, many are celebrating the engagement and the racial diversity in the British royal family. The UK-based model, Tallulah Eve, writes, As a woman of color, I could not be any more happy for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Who would have thought that we see the day a black woman would be an embraced royal? The New York-based journalist Jim Zaroli writes, the woman Prince Harry is marrying is a divorced biracial American who went to Catholic schools. Even the fussiest of institutions can progress, it seems. And another tweeter, Valentina, writes, Meghan Markle is more than Prince Harry's girlfriend. She's an actress, an ambassador for World Vision, and a UN human rights advocate.